How are you folks doing today? I've had several people request that I do a video about starting a Grindle worm culture from the very beginning. A couple of weeks ago I was over to South Carolina one day fish show and I picked up some Grindle worms from a lady that grows them on pads. Now I've been working for two weeks to try and turn this into something and I've come to the conclusion that I don't grow worms on pads. They just kind of flounder there and I'm getting a lot of this soupy stuff in the corner. Now this liquid here in the corner is fantastic for starting paramecium cultures. <clears throat> so I always do grindle worms and I do them on dirt. So I've taken some potting soil, seed starting mix actually, and moistened it and people will ask well you know how wet is wet if I take a little handful of it and squeeze it more or less stays together but there's no water as you can see my hand there's no water dripping out of it so it's moist but it is not wet enough that anything will drip out of it now this is just regular whatever you can find for seed starting mix right now in the garden stores it's all over the place from that, I'm going to take some of these delightful little pieces of stuff here with some worms on them. I hope they have some worms on them. I'm just going to take these clumps of worms, try and scratch some off, hoping there's worms in there, and move these things over onto my potting soil. I know there's a lot of worms in here. Maybe I can manage to lift a few. These cultures were actually doing much better when I first got them. The lady was pretty good at it, very impressive. And what I'm doing is just horrendous. I'm getting so few worms off of this culture. I'm going to try and rub some up without killing them. It really isn't working too well. That at least there's some down in this bottom mess. So I'm going to try pouring some of that onto my soil. You can see at least I know there are some worms making the trip over there. That's a lot of water to try and do something with in that soil, but we're going to let it go like that. So if you've ordered a started culture through the mail and you've gotten it in it's probably about as exciting looking as what I've just started here you haven't got very many worms they don't look very healthy the whole thing looks pretty disgusting but it's all you got to work with the good news is is that these worms reproduce fairly fast if they're even remotely happy I'm gonna put some dog food back on this stuff to see if I can kind of keep my straggling little worm collection here going this is just a regular dog food, you can use cat food too and this is going to constitute what our really sad looking beginning for a Grindle worm culture is so I got some food, I've got some worms not many and some soil but I've started with less than that before there again, I like to put a, a uh, piece of this needlepoint plastic on there. Give the worm some place to be climbing around. And we'll see how this will work. If you think starting a culture from absolute scratch zero is a big exciting thing, it isn't. It's a lot of faith involved because whatever you get in the mail is probably not going to have much still alive it's mostly died from from the trip but you gotta give what you get a good chance and we'll get this going and you never know maybe I'll uh, figure out how to get them working on the sponges like the lady was doing thank you for watching